What you're about to experience are my opinions and truths. I'm suggesting their possibilities for you to consider, in which you can then come up with your own logical conclusions. MGM presents Westworld. Your attention, please. We will soon be landing at Westworld, the ultimate resort. We have you on grid five, over. It consists of three worlds of the past. Locking in now. Worlds where you can live out your every fantasy. There's Roman world, the lusty, decadent delights of Imperial Pompeii. Notify ground crews. Medieval world, chivalry and combat in 13th century Europe. And Westworld. Lawless violence on the American frontier of the 1880s. Each resort is maintained by reliable computer technology and peopled by lifelike robot men and women. Just don't forget, they're not real. What you and I do is so complicated. I need your help, Dolores. I think I made a mistake. So our creatures have been misbehaving. I think there may be something wrong with this world. No choice you ever made was your own. You have always been a prisoner. What if I told you? I'm here to set you free. Are we very old friends? No, I wouldn't say friends, Dolores. I wouldn't say that at all. All right, welcome out all of you great decoders around the world, wherever you may be, both male and female. My name is Logan, and this, of course, is Decode Your Reality, and today we're going to be breaking down and decoding West World. That's like my grandiose introduction here. <laughs> Westworld Decoded. Both the, of course, you have the, the movie in 1973, <clears throat> which promulgated the, ninth, the uh, 2016 show by HBO, which m most of you know the series by. But if you haven't seen Westworld 1973 and there was a sequel called Future World, I'm going to probably decode that because <laughs> it gets interesting. But nonetheless, I tried to kind of incorporate both trailers into the beginning of this, just to kind of give you the variation of what started it all and what kind of concluded it all here. So let's let's kind of get into this a little bit of the intro, ladies and gentlemen. Um, so I thought this was kind of interesting, right? We're we're perhaps in the age of Aquarius. We're we're moving into the age of Aquarius. Obviously, we can see the remnants of that. Um. But I thought this was interesting. I know Westworld, you know, it has two W's. So I stacked one on top of the other and it's got a similar story symbolically as the symbol of Aquarius. So how about, and what is Aquarius? I know thyself. The age of I know. Secrets being revealed. Many feel that the apocalypse, which is just the great revealing, is coming. A prophecy is being foretold. And I, I'm i convinced it's not what the church tells you. Not even close. And there's many prophecies just besides what the church and the Holy Bible. You're going to get the Upanishads and the Tibetan Book of the Dead and all these other ancient texts that most people never read. But, you know, we, I feel we're ruled over by astrology. This is a no-brainer. 
I've shown this in many, many decodes. I mean, I'm a huge fan of astrology. It's clear. I mean, check out my scripted realities. It kind of rules over us. The heavenly bodies, the celestial bodies outside of us, the sentience perhaps. But this to me was kind of a, a, a very big clue and marker here. Is the great reveal going to tell us kind of what Westworld's saying? That we live inside of a game. It's not real. It's a movie made to look real and feel real but you're being used as i have said i've been saying this way long before i even started decoding this stuff mankind's being used but nonetheless let's just kind of give you another filler here uh, here's anthony hopkins huge actor on the world stage and played many parts but what i thought was interesting was his birthday see anthony hopkins being born on the 31st of december and this birthday is the only birthday in the entire 365 days of the year that has the Joker card to it. The Joker card, which is called the Alpha and Omega. If I just open up a browser here and show all of you the website that I use, this is my friend Sharon's website. She's been a card reader for a very long time, decades and decades. And you should know your card in here but if you go to december 31st it's the only card that represents the joker it's the alpha and the omega card it's the the zero and the 53 because there's typically two jokers in a deck so this card can be any card it wants to be okay it can be any card it wants to be think about what i'm showing you and this guy gets birthed into it and he is the maker of westworld Sir Anthony Hopkins. He is the maker. <laughs> and I could decode him and all that, but you know, and these ages are really fitting. 1937, 37 tied to the eye in the sky and that loop, 1937, 46. These are all subtleties, but worthy of paying attention to. So right out of the gate, <coughs> for, for what HBO anyway, what they casted, they casted the Joker, the Joker card for Westworld and the Alpha Omega. So that was my little intro, ladies and gentlemen. Along with the little trailer and sneak peeks, thanks to, you know, all the production into those. But here are the topics for this presentation. Number one, gold mind control. Gold mind control. Number two, 88. Number three, Titans. Number four, John. Is your name John? Number five, 40. And number six, what is dot, dot, dot. And I'll be asking you what you saw at the end of the presentation, like I always do. But let's get into the first topic, gold mind, not gold mine. You could say phonetically, it sounds the same. Gold mine, gold mind. You just pronounce the D a little bit. But if you say it fast, gold mine, it's almost just like gold mind. Gold mind control. So I wanted to start off with this with a bang, right? just to bring it all in hot and heavy. And, you know, if you're a fan of, I hope by now you're a fan of the cards, both the cards of illumination, which is a typical deck of playing cards, and then the tarot, which is kind of the, the, the cousin of the cards of illumination. And, you know, these are the four primary cards for Westworld. How I got that starting off, you start off with numerology. This is why I'm a fan of Chaldean. I feel Chaldean tells how this reality works from the very direct origins of how this reality works. Because it's tied to the cards and alchemy and tarot. None of the other ciphers are tied directly to it like Chaldean. That's why it's a very special cipher. But Westworld is a 40. And 40 in the deck of the cards is this card right here. The infamous Ace of Spades. It's the only card in the deck that when you open up a deck of cards, it usually has original graphics or illustrations on it. All the other cards are going to be the same. The kings, you know, the eye, they may have two eyes or one eyes, but the, the ace of spades is the card that has the original graphics on it. And it's tied to our spirituality, the seekers of spirituality, the beginning and origins of how we got here, the seekers of that. And the spade goes up, the hearts point down. Hearts are fire. So you have two fire cards and you have an earth card and you have an air card. These are the four cards in the lineages of the cards. Now, just really quickly, this is the chart that I use 
And this is the boilerplate chart for the cards of illumination. These all change year after year, but this is zero point. This is going to represent the zero point in this space of right now. And over here to the right is the master life configuration. And then over here to the left is what runs the master life configuration. It's the spirit or the handler side. I like to call it the handler card. So your birth card is going to be here. And then your spirit slash handler card is going to be here. And you just find the card. Like here is the card for Westworld. The ace of spades right here in the, in the top left-hand corner. And of course, Mercury. Think about Mer Mercury is 23. And we're going to be showing how that's tied to the Royal Star of the Lion and the Moon and all that stuff. Mercury is the planet of communication. Okay, without Mercury in the lineages of the planets, there's, there's really, there's no communication going on. But the Ace of Spades tied to Westworld's right there. And then the, uh, the same card in the same spot over here is the Seven of Hearts, which runs the Ace of Spades. This is the handler card of the Ace of Spades. And the, the other two cards is when you zoom in, you have these cards in the bottom hand corners. These are the karma cards, they call them. So the seven of hearts gives to the eight of hearts. And then there's the ace of spades. And we come over here and here's the ace of spades giving to the seven of hearts. And then the ace of spades is giving to the two of clubs where the two of clubs is feeding the ace of spades. That's how this, this, this card system works. And there's just a lot to, to go into this, but I wanted to show all of you how the cards and the tarot play out because we think in pictures, like what does Westworld mean with the cards? And then we get into the tarot because these then tell us the photograph to describe and narrate this reality. So the Eight of Hearts is kind of where it all starts. A fire suit. Fire starts it all off and it's the Eight of Cups. And so think about it. If you're somebody in the spiritual realm and you want to come down here and play the game, you, you move through this eight of, of cups. And the eight means the Taurus field, of course. And it's going on a spiritual journey. You're walking away and you'll be like, hey, I'm going to go play the game now. And then you're faced with the seven of hearts. And the seven of hearts is the seven of cups. And the seven of cups is all about fantasies and choices and illusions. That's what this card means. So you walk away from your spiritual self to come down into this game called life, Westworld. And you have now have our face with choices. Maybe like, what are you going to pick? That's what Westworld is all about. You get to go to a, a scene. Westworld was the old West and you get to go down there and you can go do whatever it is you want to do. You get to pick. That's what this is saying right here. And then you, you know, you get to Westworld and it's, you know, at the starting point of it all, because the aces mean beginnings, and it's the sword. And when you're down here in this reality, you got to pick up a sword. That's why I like the five of swords is the card of like, hey, I don't want to play anymore, which I showed on how to exit the game. Check out my exit the game decoded. So you pick up your sword, and then you move into the two of clubs slash two of wands. And the two of wands, this is the 24th card in the deck tied to the word church. It's so where the church gets its messages from, Westworld, from the as above. And you're now faced with holding the world in the palm of your hands and deciding what it is you're going to do. And this is tied to the devil card because the 15th card in the major arcana is the devil. The devil runs light. And you're, you have the two pillars. So this is Westworld with the cards, folks. If you're a fan of the cards, and I hope by now you are because they tell the story. They tell the story of how this reality works. So this to me is absolutely crystal clear and undeniable, but I got a lot more, more information to keep going. But how about when we take the number 40 from Westworld, we bring it into mathematics now. What does the mathematics have to say? We bring in another layer now that whoever created this reality would have to, if it's man, if you think man's doing it, well, they'd have to incorporate all these layers. Cards, tarot, numerology. Now we get into mathematics. There's another layer, four layers now I'm already deep into. And Westworld being 40 appears at the 40th decimal digit. 70 and 71 is what it occupies. That's going to give you 141. What is pi? 3.141. Now, the interesting part about the 70 is that if you take all four of these cards tied to Westworld, 15 plus 40 plus 7 plus 8, guess what number you're going to get? 70. And just like that, we have taken the cards of illumination and we matched it to numerology 
and we've matched it to mathematics and pi. This is what this is what we're playing out. We're playing pi, sine and cosine waves. Pretty crystal clear, right? I got much more to show you folks, so let's keep going. So what about this number 70? This is a big deal number. Okay, it's tied to the Queen's Platinum Jubilee this year. 70. So we know Westworld's 40. The four cards tied to Westworld is 70. And it's tied to Pi. So it brings me to this. The pentagram. Where the Pentagon comes from in the United States. The military compound. It's all about the five. Five fingers, five toes. And this is so big, folks. I could just leave it when I'm done with these next slides. I could just drop it here and you'd, you'd figure it out. This would be a mic drop position right here when I finish this part of the presentation. Here are the first seven pentagram, pentagonal numbers in mathematics now. These are the first seven. And why I'm showing the seven is because the seventh is this number 70. And 70 is tied to the 40, which is tied to Westworld, and the, all the cards added up. 70. Okay? And, I mean, it's right there in the logo. There's the pentagram. And, you know, here's the classical representation with the skull behind it, representing death and regeneration. But you can clearly see that it's the representation of the chakras. If you're a fan of the chakras, I am. Seven of those. And, of course, you know, this is going to be the crown. I mean, if you just look at what the third eye is, is 51, 51 is antimony, the all-seeing eye, which is the pineal gland, that's your implant. This is all done part of the source code. Man didn't code this, folks. It's too many moving parts, too many things that would have to be involved in all this kind of stuff. Everybody would have to be in on the conspiracy. But then we bring in the elements on the periodic table. So now we have, you know, another layer, another layer. So now we're up to like six layers already. And we have the elements on the periodic table making up the first seven pentagonal numbers, the chakras, and tying it to Westworld, the cards, and Pi, and the numerology of Westworld. That's how we started with all this kind of stuff. So what about these seven elements? Well, when you say them through numerology, interbiome, antimony, bromine, titanium, magnesium, boron, and hydrogen, you get 196. All of you should know what this number means. It's gold. So Westworld means gold because it means death and regeneration. And then when you add up the protons of each of these right here, you get 196, which is a match to the numerology. This is so heavily scripted into the code, folks. And there's gold, 196. And the sun represents gold, of course, classically. This is going to be isotope 197. They're going to round it up in science. So that's why these numbers bleed, as I say. They encroach. 196 will pair up with the 197. And 197 is a very special number because it's the 45th prime number. And 45 is tied to this element right here called rhodium. And you can get in this right here tied to the RH factors in your blood if you have that. <clears throat> A lot of people do. I'd say the majority of the world have the RH factor. It's rhodium. And what about, so what, where, would it, where do we go with this 45? So Westworld, we started with it all. We went into the chakras. We went into the first seven pentagonal numbers. We bring it into alchemy. We add it up. We know it's gold. We know it's gold through the numerology of all these seven elements. We know it's 196 being gold from adding up all the protons of all these elements and it leads to the 45. So what is the 45? Well, it's tied to mind control. I mean, that's what the whole show of Westworld was about. Having an implant and your life not being your own. Mind control tied to rhodium. And that's tied to Pandora's box. Now you're going to get into another layer called Greek mythology. It's where this whole story originated from. Prometheus and stealing fire, the titan who stole fire, which is wisdom and knowledge, by the way, Prometheus is, which is, I think, is tied to directly to Lucifer. The light bringer, light means fire, fire means wisdom. That's where you're going to get the, the, the fallen angel story from. And Pandora's box being given to his brother Epimetheus by Zeus, and Epimetheus, of course, opens it up, and Epimetheus, I think, represents us because it's afterthought. 
And then the shit storm happens. Now you get mind control. And you see this element rhodium right here comes from the Greek word rhodon. So we do we decode that. What look at what the numerology is of it. <laughs> 30. Which is tied to the word demiurge, tied to the new age name Jehovah in thir is 30. Tied to Santa Claus, tied to Nazareth, Jesus of Nazareth is 30. And it's role play. So we're just being role played down here. Is that what is that a Westworld's test? Is that gonna be the great reveal? Telling you that you're in a movie and you don't have the control you think you have. Right? And of course, everybody that I would say most of you, I should say everybody, most of you will be like, well, I want to cut the cord. I want to sever the cord. How do you do that? Well, I guess we're going to find out if there is such a thing. This to me is undeniable. All found from, you know, from the, the, the seven pentagonal numbers and we, we know it's right in their logo. So this, the five is big. And five's tied to Leo the Lion, the Sun, the Star Regulus, Yaldabaoth, etc., etc. Okay, so are we just, are we just being role-played here? Are we just a puppet on strings? Well, let's get into the next topic now, ladies and gentlemen. The number 88. I got a decode coming out on this. And let's, how I found the, you know, the 88 with this construct is we did the addition of the protons of these seven elements representing man. Now we add up the atomic weights of each, uh, each of these right here using the trusty calculator. We get 457.843. And that's a very special number because bam, huh, 457 is the 88th prime number. So how about that? 88th prime number and back to the future and time travel and Westworld coming down here to play the game. 88. So, I mean, you find it with, it's gold and gold's tied to the 88 and 88's going to be tied to raw. We're going to get into that. But how about this? When you say perfect number, Michael Byers, thank you for reminding me of this. He had sent me a message, said, hey, do you see this? And I had, had, I had this, I was messing around with perfect number. What's the perfect number and perfect number? And I hadn't put it into the primes. And there it is. <laughs> I mean, think about what I'm showing you. 457 through the primes. Perfect number. Perfect number tied to the alchemical representations of the first seven pentagonal numbers, the first seven chakras, and these numbers right here, which are fitting right inside the logo of Westworld. And, you know, man and woman, the five. That's why you got five fingers and five toes, folks. On the right-hand side of your body and the left-hand side. Now you got 10, but one side, it's always duality. Right hemisphere, left hemisphere. That's what we're dealing with here. One side is eight. Yeah, this the next side is eight. There's always a pair here. Okay, there's always a pair here. And yes, so I have this decode coming out. It's going to be probably a little bit before I come out with this one. But I have this decode coming out, and it's very special because it's tied to the sun and moon. You know, the sun and moon, they make these, these patterns called the analema right here. And it's a figure eight. And both the sun and moon make these. And here are the sun and moon cards in the tarot. How special the tarot is, man. Again, you know, 19 and 18 is 37. And that makes up when you say 88. 37 is very special because it's tied to eye in the sky. The sun and the moon, the sun and the moon, the eyes in the sky. Tied to that somehow, some way. And then, you know, 88 is 37. Sun and moon is 37. The word shepherd is 37. You get the shepherd herding the sheep. Shepherd is 37. It's all right there. So let's get into the next topic now. Let's get into the Titans. It's exactly what we all are. Playing out, you're playing out your Titan character. So we'll start once again with Westworld being 40. When you say 40, it becomes 22. 22 is tied to these two elements right here directly. There's going to be some other ones, but these two right here, you're going to have magnesium as well. These elements share some of these atomic weights, but directly, the most abundant, and there's the Titans. Titanium. And, you know, remember, Saturn has a moon called Titan. I feel like our moon is Titan. That's what I feel. 
That's why Saturn moon matrix, David Icke and all that. I feel like our moon is Titan. That's, that's what I think. But anyway, there it is. We're the Titans, Westworld. And we, you know, Jesus said, ye are salt of the earth. That's sodium. Sodium is essential for your body. <clears throat> sodium, uh, sodium chloride, salt of the earth. So this is a big deal right here. And then, you know, when you look at what prime number the 22 is tied to, it's 79. So gold is tied to the 22nd prime. Or 79 is the 22nd prime. And then you just go right back to this right here and you can see that it's tied to the pentagram. The 196. Not only, but th through the numerology of saying those seven elements, which make up the first seven pentagonal numbers found from that 70 and the 70 was found from Westworld being in Pi. See how many layers and how deep we go? So man would have to get all this right if they're going to sit down and consciously code this out, which I think is just ludicrous to think that. But nonetheless, 79 being gold. We're gold. Westworld is gold. You're in it. You're in it. It's gold. It's 22 and we're the Titans. That's why this is number 40. When you say Titans through the primes, it's 277. It's a match to the word Holy Bible. <laughs> the word's Holy Bible. And again, I'm not saying this is... See, some of you like, oh, there it is. I knew it. Folks, there's so many other ancient texts besides this. Okay? That, that'll tell their certain version of the story and you can decode it. And we're, it's all... Everything inside this self-contained system is part of the script. And we, just, we could just decode different parts of the script. But 277 is the 59th prime number. 59 is tied to the game of life. Okay? That, that's what we're playing out. We're titans playing out the game of life. You have no choice when you come and incarnate down here. Until you die. So here are again, here are the two major cards. There are four, as I showed, but here are the two four two cards that represent Westworld. This is you're gonna and most of you will have two primary cards. Your your handler, your uh, ego card, and then your spirit card, your handler card. And then you're going to have your karma cards. Some of you will not. If you're like an eight of clubs, you'll just have the eight of clubs. If you're the king of spades, you're just going to have the king of spades. If you're the jack of hearts, you'll just have the jack of hearts. So those are the only three cards. And then you'll have some other ones, two of clubs. And, but nonetheless, what do you see here with these two cards? Being card 40 and card seven. Well, it's 47. And you go right back to the Titans. You see? So you make your choice. Remember the card that represented this choices, illusions. You come down, you decide to come down here and play the game and leave your spiritual body behind. And now you enter Westworld. And now you have to go back up. This is pointing down. This is pointing up. And these two cards, they add up to 47. Titanium has a weight of 47. And when you say 40, found from Westworld, it's 22. And there's the protons for titanium. This is undeniable. Using all these layers. One, two, three. Three layers combined. Undeniable. And four if you include the movie. Completely undeniable. And then it's pretty crystal clear here. This is, this to me, <laughs> this is just hilarious. So whoever created the Truman Show, were they fans of Chaldean numerology? Did they know this stuff? Maybe. You're Truman Burbank. That's why he tried to get out. They're like, trying to figure it out. Now he's getting clues. Like he, We're all getting the clues now. All of us that are decoding are seeing the clues now. That's the great reveal. He found it when he was crashed into the end of the clouds on his boat. His great reveal was many, you know? Things falling from the sky and weird things happening. That's exactly what's happening to all of us right now. So this to me is just uh, more proof in the pudding right here. <laughs> Truman's 22 tied to 40 and Westworld's 40. And Truman was a Titan. Truman Burbank. It's pretty easy. The Truman, you're in the Truman Show. And then let's not forget the Tetragrammaton. Which runs the, it seems like the Tetragrammaton is what runs this reality. The Tetragrammaton is the Greek word for the Yode Vahe. Is the Yode Vahe running Westworld? Looks that way. Did the, 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 the Yodhe Vahe create Westworld? Looks that way. And then what is the Yodhe Vahe? Well, it's going to link to 
ancient Israel and the Hebrews and the Holy Bible, but then you're going to have Brahma that's going to attach to it. You're going to have Lucifer and Jesus, and you're going to have Mazda and Anu and the Anki and Enlil and all these other uh, characters. It's not just this one, but it seems like they're all the same. And then here's the guy who originally wrote Westworld, Michael, John Michael Crichton. Smart guy. He went to Harvard, right? So, I mean, do you think he was sitting there? Was he a fan of numerology? Was his parents a fan of numerology and named them this because let me just break this down for all of you. Clearly, you can see Titans 18, Jesus 18, Christ 18. Well, you're the Christ. We are the Christ. That's why the whole story of like Jesus coming down and trying to break free from the ego, break free from the game. That's why he said, close your eyes, man. Let the eye be single because the eyes are your devils. That's what causes all your illusions. It's a lot of fun to open your eyes and, and play the game. But you can see his name's John. John is 18, matching Christ, Jesus, and Titans. And then his middle name is Michael, Archangel Michael, 22, is tied to 40, and Truman. And then 30 for his last name, well, we just go right back here and right to this slide right here. Role play, you see? And Rodon and Pandora's box and mind control. We found it from the seven elements from the seven pentagonal numbers making up man right there all in his name john michael christian i mean come on folks i mean is, is where's is does his parents know this information that i'm showing you here or was it just something in his mind that told him to write this stuff and he, he and he decided to write the, the book and then or the screenplay and then the movie got made 1973 73 is tied to our blood our blood's ph is 7.3 7.4 I mean, you, you got to use your common sense and logic here, but the total is 70. And 70, uh, you know, is going to go to the 40 in Westworld. And we're gonna, I'm going to show that right now. So let's get into John. Let's talk about John, the, the original guy who came up with this whole story, right? Which led to HBO's series. So here's the breakdown for John Michael Crichton. 70, this is total numerology, remember? And in Pi, 40 attaches to the 70, and 40 is Westworld, and Westworld's the, the screenplay that he wrote. <laughs> you know? So, I mean, was he sitting down with these layers, and that's why he called it that? I mean, the letter W is the 23rd letter in the alphabet. His birthday is on the 23rd. 23 is the royal star of the lion tied to Yaldabaoth and our blood, blood history. They're all 23. That's why Michael Jordan, LeBron James, they all wore that number. 23. It's the royal star of the line, tied to Yaldabaoth. It's also tied to the movie. It's tied to the moon. Moon equals 23. Mercury equals 23. Pineal, as in pineal gland, equals 23. What do you think the pineal is being uh, influenced by? Your eyeballs. It's your eyeballs that are, that are kind of bringing the light in. <clears throat> the movie but so we have the light here what, what's the projector what's producing the light that's the big story that's the big question right that's the big question where does that light source come from so when you take his birthday and his uh his passing day 23rd and the 4th that's 27 it's going to give you cobalt cobalt's tied to the dragon dragon's tied to light light is the dragon that's why the dragon is the devil and the devil is light I mean, think about it. If you go in the pitch black, if you go into a dark room with a hundred different people and you can't see nothing, how much do you think you're going to get done? Not very much. You got to have light to start doing activities and create things, whether it's man-made artificial light through light bulbs or through LCD screens or the monitor or uh, uh, cell phone you're watching it through right now, or you got to go outside when the light's out, when the sun's up. But I mean, the the... Element Cobalt, tied to the Puppet Master, number 58. But, I mean, this is the picture the Royal Society of Chemistry uses right on their website. There's the goblin. Cobalt means cobalt from German, which means goblin. And there's the two dragons on each side right there in the background. There's the pineal gland right there, right above. I think the acorn from, the, you know, the pine tree. <laughs> but this is pretty crystal clear. And this guy has it in his birthday when you add him up. 
So how about his birthday? Born on October 23rd, it's the 296 slash 297th day of the year if you include the leap years, and you should. If you're born on a day that has two years, you wanna add these years, these days up. Try to figure out that's part of your code. So 296 and 297 added up is gonna give you 593, and here's more of the ridiculousness of this code, this source code. It's gonna give you this right here, 593 is the 108th prime number. It's gonna to link to this element called hesium. Here's the icon the Royal Society of Chemistry puts here. Why do they put it there? Because this is the royal coat of arms for the country or the city of Hesse in Germany, which is where this element came from, the name of it. So you have a dragon here <laughs> found from this guy's, his two days on his birth, common and leap. And it's the 108th prime number tied to this element. And then he's got the dragonfly from his birth to death date being 27. And this, right, these cards came out in 1988. These people are Native Americans. They're not trying to screw anybody over. But as fate would have it, they created the deck and they named the 27th card the dragonfly card because this is how in sync it is with everything. These people were being used to create this card deck. They're not part of any secret society trying to screw you over. <laughs> common folk for just just making a card deck i mean look at how many days left in the year october 23rd is 69 what is 69 tied to cancer what is cancer ruled over astrologically the moon the moon okay and then you go back to his name right here the 18th card in the tarot it's the moon card it's the moon card. So this is why, right here, 69 days. It's why the guy created it. He was supposed to create it. It was in his script. He didn't have a choice. Let's put it that way. And you know what? So what about this Hesium and this dragon? Well, I showed it in my. Not many people watched this one because it was about you know decoding using primes. But I wish everybody would watch it because I broke down a lot of words and things on the world stage using the primes. And his, this was one of them. <laughs> Jesus. Because people say, oh, his name's not Jesus, it's Yeshua. Okay, so let's just break down Yeshua. It's 53 in the original Greek, which is going to be tied to number 16, which is tied to Lucifer. But that's besides the point. But it's 269. Look at what the weight of Hesium is. 269. And then if you do the numerology of, Hes uh, of where this, this element came from, the, the German state of Hess or Hesse, it's 175. And then you go to this element right here called Lutetium Lucifer. This is isotope 175, and there is the connection. The great dragon got hurled down. And who fought the great dragon? Michael. Who is Michael? Jesus. And this guy's tied to it. <laughs> From right here. His name being tied to Jesus and the dragon and Michael. I mean, come on. This guy was being used to create this, this, this Westworld, folks. It's pretty crystal clear, if you ask me. Pretty crystal clear. All right, so let's get into the next topic now. 40. We've already talked about the 40, but let's break down the number 40. And, you know, being tied to Westworld. And I thought this was really interesting. I just found this the other day when I was listening to Kapil from KRS Astrology. Big shout out to his channel, KRS channel on YouTube and the Vedic astrologer Kapil from chicago interesting he's from chicago and you know john michael Crichton is from chicago it's just interesting how i found this and this was the video i was watching and he was talking about this right here the visvadiva and it means where all the gods hang out because he was talking about he's like well what is it is it vishnu is it shiva is it brahma and they all come from one place, and this is this is the terminology. So think about what I'm telling you here. In Hinduism and astrology, Vedic astrology, this right here is where all the gods come from. The collection of them, the pool of them. So is this kind of the, the black sun or you know the representation of where heaven would be? If we're just going to kind of use these constructs. Because it's tied to Westworld. 
So do you, you come from this place to make a decision to come down and become man or woman? Been plenty of stories about God's coming down and becoming avatars like us. So there you go. There's the 40 right there. So let's break down the number 40 using the sine and cosine waves. This is really important. I, like I said, I did a decode on this. This is advanced decoding, but folks, if you really want to figure this out, you can't just use numerology. Sorry, it just doesn't cut it. So here's the 40 with Westworld. Here's the sine and cosine wave of the number 40. Look at what it leads to. It adds up to 122, the sine and cosine wave, 56 and 66. I'm going to break all this stuff down. Look, look what it leads to. Antimony. And this is the uh, icon the Royal Society of Chemistry uses. The all-seeing eye of Horus, which is inside your brain. It's called your implant, tied to your pineal gland. If you cut your brain in half, this is what you're going to find. So there it is, Westworld. I mean, you can't get any more crystal clear than that. And just to remind all of you, you go back to this part of it right here. Look at what the third eye is in the seven, the first seven pentagonal numbers. The third eye is antimony, folks. <laughs> I, it's right. You can't miss this now. You see? Right there. It's the sixth pentagonal number. Pentagon meaning man. It's right there in the Westworld logo. I mean, this is, this is a dead giveaway right here, and that's how valuable the sine and cosine waves are. So let's go a little bit further. What about antimony? Well, when you say it using the primes, it's 367. That is a prime number. This is a big deal. Why I have the blood splatter here? Because our blood's pH is around 7.3 to 7.4. And just like that, there it is. So when you come down and you get an avatar, you get, you're under the guise of the all-seeing eye, which is in your brain, the implant. Is there a way to break free from that? I don't know. Antimony's 28 in Chaldean. The word architect is, so we're all architects. Obviously, we're all creators, but is, the, is your mind your own? And then, you know, Lucifer being tied to light, slow down into physical matter. You get the dragon, all that stuff. It's the sine and cosine wave that affect the pineal gland, which is antimony. Interestingly enough, London, the city of London, sits at 51 degrees north latitude. Pretty interesting. A pretty big city anyway. But nonetheless, these are all big pieces of all this. And then we go a little bit further with the sine and cosine wave of the number 40. And this is other ways you can do it. Getting the total is 122. We know that. But what about the first digit of the sine and cosine wave? It's the 7 and the 6 or the 6 and the 7. So it's going to link to these elements right here. It's holmium. Ho, ho, ho. It's the Santa Claus element. Holmium is the most magnetic element on the entire periodic table. You got to put it into a very, very cold condition, but it is the most magnetic. It's got to be very cold. What, it, what, what, what would, what, I mean, what is the representation of outer space? Like that, like, let's not talk about like, is it real or is it not real? But like, you know, the higher you go, atmosphere-wise, it gets colder, okay? So if you just start to use this common sense and logic, you, you may find some keys to the kingdom. And then let's not forget Osmium, the Wizard of Oz, 67 and 76, right here. So it's a magnetic wizard. You're a magnetic wizard. That's you. Magnetic wizard. What about taking the numerology of Holmium and Osmium? Well, it tells another story, right? We keep going. I mean, look at what Holmium is. 30. What was 30? Role play. What was 30? Demiurge. What was 30? Jehovah. Role play. 30. Tied to Holmium and the sine, the sine wave of the number 40. And then Osmium is a 25. And when you add them up it's 55 these are the two elements that get the 55 the nod anyway there's going to be other ones as well but it's iron we have iron in our blood so going back to the human being experience again and then you have this element right here called cesium and this picture right here is taken from the great show on netflix called dark and it was all about time travel and the triquetra and the element they used for their little time machine was cesium cesium 137 but there it was, time travel, time travel, folks, with the Westworld, okay? It's, it's spirit coming down and playing out the game. What about uh, taking the 
total of the sine and cosine wave and breaking up into their individualistic totals. So the sine wave of 40 is 56. The, si the cosine wave is 66. 56 is barium. It gets more clear now. Barium being tied to the movie. Barium having an average weight of 137. 137 is the 33rd prime number. So now the, the number 40 from Westworld gets tied into the Christ and 33 from this methodology here. And then you have dysprosium, which means hard to get. And when you do the numerology of them, look what you get. 55. We go back up here. What do we get for homium and osmium? 55. You see how, you see how like, like heavily embedded this source code is from the first two numbers? And then the total, the total, and then barium being 16, tied to the word hell, the word light equals 16, there it is, light 16, and then dysprosium being 39, and it's the guiding light, the guiding light down into hell, which is the movie that you're playing out. So that's what all this means right here. And this, you know, 39 is tied to Lucifer, the Godfather. I got a decode coming out on that. Godfather equals 39. Ruling over hell, which is light. Which is sulfur, and here's, here's what this is going to look like. So, Westworld ends up leading into this right here. Westworld's created by the guiding light, and it makes up hell. And you got to make heaven out of it. But the guiding light is tied to the yttrium. And there's the 88 again. You see? And the guiding light being 39 tied to the 88, 88 tied to the sun and moon. So those have a big say in all this. And then hell is 16 and it's tied to this element called sulfur. This is where you're going to get the stories of fire and brimstone and sulfur and ash and all that in, in these ancient texts of destruction. But then you, you know, you, you really break this down and it becomes even more crystal clear for definitives here, as far as I'm concerned, uh, you know, the original spelling of Lucifer. And it wasn't even, it's not even Lucifer. That's, that's the Latinized uh, version of it. But the original from the Isaiah 14 verses 12, the only scripture that mentions Lucifer, it's Halil or hell, I call it. Here it is, H-Y-L-L. -L. It's, it's the same as hell. Same thing. It's 39. So the guiding light leads you into hell. The light, light does. And then, you know, you go into the movie. See, we're in light, but it's a movie. So guiding is 23, movie is 23. So it's the movie light. And it's, it's what they're going to put you down here. It's hell, 16 and 16. And it's a guiding light. And it's, I told you, Lucifer is the one that gets you here. The light bringer. Brings you to the game, transports you to the game. So I have all this, these, check out my Thomas decoded. Thomas was the brother of Jesus. All these Thomases, Thomas like in the maze runner trying to figure out how to get out of here once you get down here. And then, you know, the 31 tied to hell and light. It's the 11th prime number, the 31 is. This is also going to be tied to phosphorus, phosphorus being the 15th element. Phosphorus is also going to have the atomic mass of 31. So these numbers bleed 15 into 16. That's why light is the devil. That's it. If you want to know what the secret is to life, light is the devil. Okay? That's, that's what it means. And then you have sodium again. Sodium being our salt, the salt in our bodies. And 22 being tied to the number... <clears throat> of Westworld, you know, Westworld being 40, 40 equaling 22, Truman equaling 22, Michael and Dragon being 22, all down here in, in Wonderland. You know, that's just kind of how all this works. But I, I really feel like this has got a lot of merit to it for Westworld. And perhaps the, the, the sun god Ra talked about in the Egyptian times uh, perhaps could be the, the, the source of it all. The tied, tied to the black sun. I know a lot of people, they think Saturn is the black sun. That's what they believe. They think Saturn's the black sun. Which it could be. But we can't leave out, you know, ancient Egypt kind of has seniority over the Romans and the Greeks because 
they have they go back farther in history what we're told through archaeology and stuff like that so Ra would have seniority as far as being an older character on the world stage and then you get into the law one material and but when you take these two elements why I take these two elements together because Ra has 88 protons and yttrium has a weight of 88 and it just so happens when you bring them together it forms the word ray like the array of light and then when you say these two it's 40 which matches westworld so this this has a lot of say in it right here ladies and gentlemen for sure and if you add up these you're going to get 314 by the way which is pi which i've been showing over and over but what about when we add up the protons 88 plus 39 is 127 127 being the 31st prime number you go right back to sulfur and you go right back to here light and hell and the guiding light and right so is is lucifer just Ra, the sun god Ra? and is it just the sun above our heads is that still it i mean it was all tribute to the sun which is what all christianity is all about it's all sun worship so are they just worshiping Ra, and they just don't even know it so we just keep going and you know the the 127 found from the two pro uh the two proton additions of radium and yttrium which is the ray of light i feel is tied to the the earth see tellurium's average weight 127 and tellurium comes from the latin word tellus meaning earth so the light comes down and you come into hell <laughs> which is earth and now you're in westworld and is your life your own that's the big question is the great reveal going to tell you that it's not maybe so let's get into the last topic now for this presentation of westworld decoded and this topic is what is dot 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 so i decided to um you know big shout out to ethan rucker the great decoder he uses this quite a bit asking questions i've tinkered around with it uh so ethan you kind of inspired me to to kind of use this for this so this is kind of a, a big shout out to you um and you know why this is so valuable and i would encourage all of you to start doing this start tinkering around and asking what is this and what is that and why do we do that because you see the word what is a 16 which is which is tied to light it's tied to light so what means light so when you say what what it means the light the light contains all the information contains it all right because you have the projector which has all the information and then it has to broadcast the signal which has all the information and then it has to end somewhere which is earth so that is that's how you read this and then you got to know what the four is but you get the 164 that's tied to holmium and 67 and being very magnetic and it's tied to westworld anyway but that's for a different story i may go a little bit deeper with this at some other time but what is westworld is the 60 and then you get into feed the wolf i know some people say why would you say that well go study the wolf aspect go study the native american traditions they say you have two wolves and you're going to feed either one of them i mean are you going to say they're wrong what is the wolf well it's you it's me and it's this neodymium and you know this this 60 being what is westworld well it's it's magnetic because neodymium is is used to make magnets and what's very 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 interesting with this connection is that the great pyramid of khufu the great pyramid of giza sits at 29 degrees north and 31 degrees east and when you add up 29 and 31 you're going to get 60. 60. so this is tied to the great pyramid of giza folks that's why i had said so many times before i think somehow some way the great pyramid has something to do with this reality and the control over it if that were to be taken down i think our reality would change but there it is feed the wolf what is westworld and so i'm like okay well westworld is 40. and when you go right into the periodic table you get zirconium and this is a big deal because zirconium has an average weight of 91 
And this zirconium, I'm going to break it down, but it comes from the word zargon right here. Go study it. And there's the 24. And then you go right back up here. It's feed the wolf, the 24. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, why, why would you say feed the wolf? Because the 24 is you and I, 20, 24 hours in a day. 24 is tied to the letter X in the X chromosomes. So this is not an accident here. This is very important. And what about that 91 tied to Westworld? Well, bam, there it is. Westworld through the primes. 467 is the 91st prime number. You see? So we, we find it in Chaldean. <laughs> Tie it to alchemy. This element means death and regeneration, by the way, which is exactly what Westworld is all about. And then we go right here to the primes, and 467 is a prime. Not just anyone, but it's the 91st prime. And this is going to tie to the element protactinium. You can keep going and going. Tied to the word battery, as I've showed. Many other decodes and many of you other great decoders have shown. But it's, it's tied to the battery, 91. So if we just really kind of condense this all down, and you can look with your own two eyes, you can see what Westworld is from this perspective. Westworld is tied to zirconium, which means gold-colored, by the way. And it's led to gold. That's what Zargon means. So I showed how gold, how important gold was right here. Tied to the pentagram. It's gold. We're being harvested for our energy, folks. That's what this whole reality is based on. And Westworld saying that it's tied to zirconium, which is the element of the scarab beetle, which represents death and regeneration. And it means gold colored. And there's the 24. Feed the wolf is 24. Feed the machine is 24. Did, did a deco with Pink Floyd on that. And this element comes from this word Zargon, which is 24. You see, undeniable. Right here. Undeniable. And there's the, there's the uh, Scarab Beetle. Right off of the Royal Society of Chemistry, this is the icon they use for Zirconium, the Scarab Beetle. So when we say Zirconium now, not Zargon, it's 36. What about the 36 tied to the operating system? Operating is 36. Duality is 20. Duality equals 20. Operating equals 36. Zirconium is 36. So zirconium in Westworld is part of the operating system. And it's death and regeneration down here. And death and regeneration is all about lead to gold and the transmutation of energy, being fed on and being food for the gods, being harvested for your energy. That's why the whole story of the Anunnaki, we're not mining gold per se, we're, we're being harvested by our gold energy and our currency of our energy. So let's go a little bit further. We're gonna almost at the tail end of this. What is the game of life? What does that come out to? Well, it's gold again. What is the game of life? 79, 79 being the 22nd prime number, 22 tied to, when we say 40, 40 is Westworld. You see? And we're the Titans. And, the, you know, the man in black, man, he wants to, he's like, I'm going to, I'm going to, you want to get out of here? Wants to bring it down. That's his job. That was his job. If you've been keeping up with it, and if you listen to the trailer, you think your life's your own. I mean, this is all dead giveaways here, folks. There are, this is all revealing what's going on here. <laughs> and this is just one movie, one show. I broke it down so many other ways. What about this one? What is the purpose of life? 22 letters, the subtleties. 22 tied to titanium and the titans. Right? It's 105. And look at where the 40 appears from Westworld in the string of the golden ratio tied to the sun. 105. It's 105 and 106. That's going to give you 211. 211 is the 47th prime number tied to the titanium again. But the, you, you, this, you could just, I could just keep going all day long with this. You could see that this is the source code playing out just using Chaldean, folks. See how, see how beautiful this is? That's why it makes your life so much easier because you ain't got to try to go and you open up a million different ciphers and try to connect them all, and that just waters it down. Just, just try to use one. Stick with the primes or Chal Chaldeans been my, my go-to. So what is zirconium since it's tied to Westworld? 56, which is the movie, <laughs> right? I mean, this is pretty easy. This is why th when you start using this, what is, and then adding your word in there, you're going to start to find some truth bombs. Again, another big shout out to Ethan Rucker. 
But this is pretty crystal clear. And then the 56 is going to be barium. So what is barium? Well, it's 36. What is 36? The operating system. <clears throat> barium being the same as uh, zirconium. Lights, camera, action. So barium and zirconium have a very special place together. And you can, you know, alchemize these two elements and, uh, you know, work out what that's going to come out to. You know, I mean, if you take 56 and you add the, the 40, what do you get? 96, which is the yin yang. And, you know, it's just so many layers to this. So how beautifully mathematically precise this whole source code is. The source code. And so it, it just really leads me to the end of this presentation. Thank you, everybody, for making it this far. About only 15% of you, according to the analytics, say that you will. If you made it to the end, go ahead and say, I made it to the end. Leave it in your, leave your comments there. But I feel like it comes, it comes down to this. And I, I, I'm still working on figuring it out. But you get into Rahu and the North Node and the South Node and K2, and those are big front runners on what runs this reality. But it's the moon. I think the. I mean, why? Why would they cast? Why would Ed Harris be casted for the Truman Show? We know Truman is 22, tied to Westworld, being tied to the 40. He's living on the moon and he's trying to control Truman from the moon. But then they cast him to play the Man in Black, and he's trying to get you out. So interesting the casting that they, these people get, and the the connection is to me is really really important i mean earth is 17 life is 17 matrix is 17 gold is 17 all 17s life is 17 and then you know the moon is the 23 the royal so is this the royal star of the line is this a burnt out sun could be 23 tied to the word mercury 23 is tied to our blood. Blood equals 23. History equals 23. Crown equals 23. It's the royal star of the line in numerology, which is linked to Yaldabaoth, the Gnostic Demiurge, which is tied to Allah. But I think this is this is very this is coming in very crystal clear for me. I have much more work, and then you know the letter W is 23. So let's not leave that out. So I mean, it's tied to the moon, folks. And as I showed in my uh, in my a lot of my other decodes prison planet and the moon is the portal the moon is the incarnation reincarnation process it's part of it i feel like this is the portal how we all get here through the moon the luna where you get lunatics lucifer luna it's all making sense and is this just causing the projection a lot of people think that it's a reflection i don't see it as a reflection i see it maybe as a projection somehow some way i mean you had this movie moonfall that came out you know, tied to the AI technology. It's really interesting, this these concepts right here. But I know that this, and you get into Selene, which is element number 34. It's going to be tying into Lucifer again. I have much more to go with this right here. But let me just end this presentation, going back kind of where I started, showing the four primary cards for Westworld. And this was, this to me was kind of like icing on the cake right here, because when you say the numerology of these four primary cards of what Westworld is all about. The Ace of Hearts, the Seven of Hearts, the Ace of Spades, and Two of Clubs. Well, you get, not only is it 47 letters, and 47 is Titanium and the Titans and all that. This is obviously dead giveaways. But it's the number 209, and it goes to this element right here called Polonium. And look at what the weight is, 209. What is Polonium? Well, this little picture, like, what is polonium? Well, let's just go to that really quick and just show you on the fly. Here is polonium. Look what it says. It's named after Poland. But look at what it says. An image is based on the Luna E-1, the first spacecraft on the moon. The moon. Folks, it all comes down to Luna, which is Selene in Greek, the Greek goddess. And then you have her brother called Helios, the sun and moon, man. They run this reality some way, some shape or form, along with the zodiac signs and the stars and all this. They all tie together. But this is, to me, 
really important information and this is undeniable 47 letters titanium and 22 and this is pretty pretty definite now for me so anyway ladies and gentlemen woo that was a, a long one thanks for sticking with me I'd love to hear what you saw uh, for this presentation. I appreciate each and everyone. If you're coming here, appreciate all your Patreons, your donations. Uh, those of you that are interested in a reading, I'm booked out until October. But if you're interested, just send me an email. My email is decodeyourreality at gmail.com and just request one. All right. So ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for today. My name is Logan. Until next time, we will see you later.